Now, what do you see? Hmm. A woman with a hat? Funnily enough, that's the name of the painting. Hmm. A Woman with a Hat by Henri Matisse, painted in 1905. There's so many colors and they all look so random. Well, this painting depicts a woman staring off into the distance. Her gaze is not directed toward the viewer, but behind him or her. She's wearing a large hat and holds an open fan in her gloved hand. The woman is depicted in the foreground. The background is not detailed, thus making her the focal point. The painting medium is oils. Matisse combines many different hues of colors, uh, from earthy, warm tones to bright, vibrant colors, and even some pale, subdued pastels. The light would normally hit her face as a highlight on the top of her cheeks. Use less lighter colors. They almost look like a mess of random colors on first glance. The tip of her nose and tops of her cheek are marked with an unexpected bright yellow. The brush strokes are very heavy handed. This isolates the colors into patches. The different color combinations, like red and green, blue and orange, and yellow and purple, complement each other and make each other stand out. They are carefully planned in place. Now the top portion of the piece is dominated by the dark, heavy hat on her head, and the bottom portion also has dark shades of purple in the woman's clothing. These two separate pieces act as a frame for the woman's face. Pierre is an art minor. He would have known all about this stuff. Well, I'm an art major, and I know way more about Matisse than Pierre. Hmm. Well, in my guidebook, it says that Matisse first showed this painting at the Salon d'Atome in 1905, and that people didn't really like it too much. Definitely. In fact, Leo Stein, a member of the family who bought the painting, said it was the nastiest smear of paint he had ever seen. Wait, his family bought it and they, he didn't even like it? Well, Stara Stein convinced the whole family to invest in Matisse. She fell in love with the painting the minute she saw it. My birthday last year, Pierre bought me no, a painting. No, no, no. Let's talk about Matisse. Now more about the opening of the show. Matisse originally planned to paint a big landscape, but he didn't finish it in the summer before the show. He ended up having to paint this and turn it in, but he was so embarrassed by it that he only showed up once to see it for fear of critics' reactions. So how did Matisse start his career? Well, Matisse originally trained to be a lawyer, but he found his true passion in arts and switched art studies. Under the guidance of Gustave Maru, Matisse learned the importance of the artist's individual expression through his artwork. So were all of Matisse's artworks that wild? Actually, Matisse was a major player in a movement called Fauvism. Fauvist art was concerned with expressing emotion through color and brushstroke. And this came about partially as a response to rise of uh, photography. Since people could truthfully represent real life in photos, artists looked to paintings for a break in tradition. Oh, I see. So. Even though a woman with a hat is a portrait, it doesn't really feel like most portraits. Um, so Matisse isn't really that concerned with the realistic portrayal of the woman, right? So who is she? She was Matisse's wife, Amelie. His wife? I bet they were really happy together. Pierre and I used to be really happy together. Uh, well, don't feel too bad. Amelie didn't even visit the portrait once when it was in the show. People say that she hated it. Well, I don't blame her. I'd definitely be mad. Actually, most Parisians thought that the painting represented the marital problems of Matisse and Amélie. But I have read some sources that have a different perspective. They say that the crazy colors represent Matisse's passion for his wife. In fact, without her income as a hat maker, Matisse would have never been able to be a full-time painter. He owes much of his success to her work. Hmm. So I guess the Steins bought a lot of Matisse's works, right? I think I've heard of them before. Didn't they collect a lot of Picasso's works too? Oh yes. In fact, the patronage of the Steins for both Picasso and Matisse fueled a great rivalry between the two artists. But they eventually became friends and they had a friendly competition between each other. That's really interesting. I'm curious. Did this particular painting uh, have much impact on the art world, besides, you know, helping to establish Fauvism, I mean. 
Yeah, like I said, it helps normalize the wild color palette of the Favis. I'll pave the way for later German expressionists like the Blue Rider group in their experiments with color. Oh, wow.